All right, so good morning. Today I'm going to show you something called the Bitbox. What is the Bitbox? The Bitbox is a project by a guy out in France. It's a really cool little project that just arrived last night. And the idea is to make a miniature video game console that's DIY and programmable using the excellent STM32 F4 processor. So if you know my website, DIYDSP.com at all, you know that I teach people how to do DSP for music. And even though this project is kind of a graphics console, it also has music capabilities. So I'm very interested in teaching people how to use it. There's one of them. I actually picked myself up two of them. So this is just a very brief introduction or an unboxing. I'm just going to show you what you get when you uh, write to Makapoof and ask him for one and send him a, a few euros. So let's take a closer look at the uh, bitbox here. The most prominent feature to me right here is this giant chip. This is the STM32F4. Uh, this is the 144 pin version, which means it gives you 24 A to D channels. Um, if I'm not mistaken, it also has one megabyte of flash and 128K of SRAM. Other important things on the BitBox, for example, here is a VGA output port. This is one of the key things that makes it a video game console. You can plug this right into a video into a VGA monitor and uh, see graphics. And it's all handled by DMA in the background, so um, you don't lose much CPU overhead at all. Also here is a stereo output. This chip has two 12-bit digital to analog converters, which are more than capable of providing pretty decent quality audio output. Then over here, you've got the uh, USB ports. So the big idea with this video game console is you can connect your own game controllers to it. There's also a micro SD port here. I believe this micro SD port is for uploading software and not game controllers. I think the game controllers are on these, but I'm not totally sure because I haven't done anything with it yet. You just saw me open it. And then of course here, we've got um, an SD card port. I believe that's one of the main ways that you put games on the thing. I think the idea is you're not supposed to upload software more than once or twice, uh, the, the bootloader here. What you're really supposed to do is use the much easier SD card interface. You can copy files onto your SD card uh, on any, your, your PC and then put them here and then boom, you plug this into your monitor and you've got a sound and audio video games. A uh, couple other ports on here. Let's see. This one is labeled SW, SWD. It's a four pin interface. If you've worked with um, the Cortex M4 or many of the other uh, ARM microcontrollers, you know that they have a four pin single wire interface. It's ground, um, data in, clock, and data out, I believe. Or maybe it's ground power, data and clock, something like that. Um, and you've got uh, I got a reset button here, and this is the button that you use when you flash new firmware over the uh, over the uh, USB port, which you probably shouldn't have to do. Um, other minor things here: you see the uh, crystal used to drive the chip. And on the back, doesn't look like there's anything else going on. It's it's kind of a simple board, and I'm really looking forward to um, learning how to use the uh, the USB host ports for, for game controllers because I'm primarily interested in music um, so I wonder if m music controllers can be plugged in here and also the SD I know he's got some basic mod playing code uh, already running on there so this is just my first introduction video where I tried to get you interested in how cool it is to pay a mere 40 euros to a cool guy out in France and get a nice package like this and then get your hardware. Uh, and, and in future videos, we'll explore how to actually program it uh, and, and show what the VGA output looks like. I know this is kind of a teaser, but we got to do a little bit at a time. Uh, and um, if you're interested in writing your own video game console 
code uh, or your own music code, be sure and check out my website, DIYDSP.com, and Macapuff's website uh, for his project called The Bitbox. It's completely open source, and uh, we've got a small group of people started up, but I think it's going to be kind of a cool little scene. Tirez ici pour ouvrir.